Sahih al Bukhari 1651, narrated Jabir bin Abdullah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions assumed Iram for Hajj and none except the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Talha had the Hadi sacrifice with them. Ali arrived from Yemen and had a Hadi with him. Ali said, I have assumed Iram for what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has done. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered his companions to perform the Umrah with the Laram, which they had assumed, and after finishing Tawaf of Kaaba, Safa and Marwa to cut short their hair, and to finish their Laram except those who had Hadi. With them, they the people said, How can we proceed to Mina for Hajj after having sexual relations with our wives? When that news reached, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, If I had formerly known what I came to know lately, I would not have brought the Hadi with me. Had there been no Hadi with me, I would have finished the state of Laram. Aisha got her menses, so she performed all the ceremonies of Hajj except Tawaf of the Kaaba, and when she got clean from her menses, she performed Tawaf of the Kaaba. She said, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all of you are returning with the Hajj and Umrah, but I am returning after performing Hajj only, so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered Abdur Rahman bin Abu Bakr to accompany her to Tanaim, and thus she performed the Umrah after the Hajj. Sahih al Bukhari 1652, narrated Hafsa. On it, we used to forbid our virgins to go out for it prayer. A lady came and stayed at the fortress of Bani Caliph. She mentioned that her sister was married to one of the companions of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who participated in 12. Ghazawats along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and her sister was with him and six of them. She said, We used to dress the wounded and look after the patients, she her sister asked. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Is there any harm for a woman to stay at? Home if she doesn't have a veil, he said, she should cover herself with the veil of her companion, and she should take part in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers. When um, Atiyah came, I asked her, did you hear anything about that? Um Atiyah said, by Abi and she never mentioned the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Without saying by Abi, I let my father be sacrificed for you. We asked her, Have you heard? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Saying so and so about women, she replied in the affirmative and said, Let my father be sacrificed for him. He told us that unmarried mature virgins who stay often screened or Unmarried young virgins and mature girls who stay often screened should come out and take part in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers, but the menstruating women should keep away from the Musala praying place. I asked her, the menstruating women, she replied, don't they present themselves at Arafat and at such and such places? Thanks for watching Hadith like and subscribe. Subscribe my channel for more Hadith videos. Allah bless you Al-Hahafiz.